Hey there. Have you got your food? Pull up a chair, won't ya? Man, this cafeteria is always so crowded. I wish we were allowed to eat our food in the classrooms. At least the selections are better than before. Ever since they added fried chicken on fun Fridays, I've actually started to find this place tolerable. It's just a shame that the food is still crap every other day of the week. So, tell me, what was the worst part of your day? Why am I asking? Well, last time when I asked you how your day was, you said I didn't need to keep asking because you'll always give the same answer and say it went badly. So, I thought I'd reword the question this time. I'll ask again. What was the worst part of your day? <laughs> See? Now I actually have a way of getting your depressed ass to talk about how your day's been. I know how much you hate small talk. <laughs> I'm right, though. I've known you for way too long to not know what you're like. It's been, what, nine years now? Do you remember the day we first met? You were so tiny back then. Ashford Elementary School. If I remember correctly, you tripped over and hurt your knee and I ran over to help. I put a plaster on it and everything. And then I think I yelled something like, Everything's gonna be fine. I'm here to save you. Jeez, I had a weird hero complex back then. You... consider that a treasured memory? <laughs> yeah, me too. Even if it's a little cringy to think back on, I know that we never would have become friends if I didn't do all that. Hard to believe we'll be graduating soon. And even without having classes together, I'm sure we won't drift apart or anything. I'll just keep coming over to your house like I always do. It's practically my house too at this point. <laughs> Huh? You just heard something? What do you mean? A water droplet? I didn't hear anything like that. Are you sure it's not just your imagination? <laughs> Besides, I don't see how you'd be able to hear something like that in a crowded cafeteria. Not unless you've got really good hearing. Hmm? What have I been up to lately? Uh, it's a little embarrassing, but... I've recently been looking into... Hypnosis. No, yeah, it's really fascinating. It's amazing how the human mind can be molded and persuaded with simple tricks. I've watched a ton of videos about it online. It takes a lot of skill to pull off, though, as far as I know. I kind of want to try it out. But it's kind of an ethical issue, you know. I can't just do something like that to someone without their consent. I'd have to find a willing partner, and God knows who'd agree to being hypnotized. Huh? You'd be willing to try it? Are you sure? I I'm not complaining or anything, it's just... Do you really trust me with something like that? Assuming it works, that'd mean I have, you know, control over you. You're okay with it because it's me? Um, I'm... flattered. Well then, we've still got time before lunch time ends. Did you want to find an empty classroom? Yeah, right now. Is that a problem? Good, then let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. Here's a quiet classroom. There's no one around to disturb us. Go on and take a seat. Huh? A water droplet sound? That again? I didn't hear anything. Never mind that. Okay, here's how this works. Using my voice, I'll try to get into your mind. Don't try to resist it. This isn't some movie where I brainwash you with some special power. I'm working with the power of natural suggestion, nothing more. That means it'll work better if you're completely open to it. Let go, and trust me completely. And that's the only way we can do this. Got it? Good. Then let's begin. Close your eyes. 
listen to the sound of my voice. Don't think about anything else. Just focus on me and allow yourself to fall into a deep trance. Allow your whole body to relax. My words make their way into your mind effortlessly. With each word that comes out of my mouth, you feel more and more weak, more and more controlled, like the controls to your mind are being handed over to me. But don't take my word for it. Look within yourself. You feel it, don't you? You feel the urge to relinquish control, to completely let go and let someone else take the reins. I'm going to give you a trigger word. The word is fall. Whenever I say that word from now on, you will fall deeper into your trance. Your sense of the outside world will fade, and the only thing that will inhabit your existence is my voice. Fall. You can feel yourself sinking deeper into the trance, and you're completely willing. At this point, you still have the option to resist, but the desire to let me take the reins is overwhelming. It would just feel too good. So don't resist. Let it happen. Fall. Fall deeper. You give me control over your every thought, your every intention. You will gladly do anything that I tell you. Everything within those few square inches inside your head is mine. From now on, you will obey. Fall. I'm going to give you another trigger word. The word is wake. Whenever I say this word, you will come out of your trance and be fully aware of reality once again. Are you ready? Wake. So, how did that feel? You found it interesting? Well, I'm glad you liked it. I didn't think it would work so well. It looked like I actually had you in a trance. I guess the human mind is easy to manipulate. I better be careful. I wouldn't want to get drunk on this kind of power. Huh? Oh no, we're not done. This is where the fun part begins. Now that your mind is open to suggestions, we can try a few new things. Let's see here. How about... you raise your right arm for me? Whoa, that was fast. It shot right up. Yeah, I know, that wasn't voluntary on your part. But that means it's working. <laughs> Alright, now... Start doing jumping jacks. <laughs> I know, I really am evil, aren't I? Forcing you to do the one thing you hate most. Exercise. <laughs> okay, now, stop. I really do have control over you, huh? How exciting. I hope this isn't too uncomfortable for you. You're okay with it? I'm glad. Let's try something else. Maybe something a little more... visual. Look outside. Starting from now, you will see rain. Yeah, that's right. I can also change what you see in here. Pretty neat, huh? Now, what else? Maybe I could... No. No, 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 no. I, I shouldn't. Huh? Um, well, it's... Kind of weird. I... I don't think I should go down that route. You want me to do it? Are you sure? You don't even know what I was gonna do. Alright, I get it. You want to be a good subject for me. But you can't get mad, okay? <sighs> I order you... to kiss me. <laughs> You're blushing. That's cute. Why did I ask you to do that? Well, um... I guess there's no hiding it now. I like you. I've liked you for a long time now. 
I wanted to tell you for quite a while, but I... I couldn't really gather the courage for it. I hope this will suffice. You... feel the same way? Really? That... <laughs> that makes me really happy. <laughs> How funny. This is the weirdest love confession ever. In the middle of hypnosis of all things. Let's go on a date after school today. And maybe... We can play around more of the hypnosis. If you're up for it. Awesome. It's a date then. Oh crap, lunch is over. We'd better get to class. Huh? Oh, yeah, good question. <laughs> I guess I'd better tell you how to undo the hypnosis so you aren't following my commands for the rest of your life. According to what I read online, you just need to do something that really shocks your system. Like experiencing a sharp pain or dipping your hand in freezing cold water. Just a minor pain will break you free from the most recent order you were given, but a major shock will be required to wake yourself completely up. Once you do that, you'll be completely free of my hypnosis, and you won't be made to obey any orders I give. Anyway, I'll see you after school, okay? Hey, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Listen, Listen to the sound of my voice. Starting, starting today, today yeah, yeah, yeah. you will have you will undying, undying feelings, feelings of affection, affection for me. me. You, you will love, love me with all your heart. heart. Whenever, Whenever I confess, I confess my, my love to you in three days' time, 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 you will you reciprocate, reciprocate those feelings. feelings. Now, 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 I want you to forget, forget about this meeting. This meeting. Understand? Understand? Three, 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 two, two one. one. You remember something? Remember what exactly? What? You're saying I... hypnotized you before today? What are you talking about? <laughs> that, that's impossible. This is the first time we've done this. Hey, why do you look so terrified of me all of a sudden? Please, don't look at me like that. It hurts. Where are you going? Wait. Stop! I... I order you to stop! It seems you don't understand your situation. Have you really forgotten? I'm still the one in control. With just a few words, I can make you do anything I want. Keeping that in mind, did you really think it was a good idea to just walk away? I thought I'd suppressed your memories of that time I hypnotized you, but I guess it didn't work completely. No matter. I can just erase your memories and try again. Huh? Why am I doing this? Because... I love you. Isn't it obvious? I've always liked you. Since the very beginning. I didn't dare to tell you. I was afraid. Terrified. Of you saying no. But whenever I learned about hypnosis... I realized that... I had a way of guaranteeing your reciprocation. It was perfect. Or at least, I thought so. I spent ages practicing hypnosis. It's not an easy skill to learn. But I worked tirelessly, day and night, to make my dream come true. My dream of being with you, my darling. Huh? Betrayal? No. No, no, no. I haven't betrayed you. I just wanted to give you a good life. Soon you'll see. I can make your life perfect. I can reconstruct your reality. 
I can toy with your mind until you forget every unhappy memory. The potential is limitless. Whether you want it or not, you belong to me. Not just your body, but your mind. I have absolute control over you. Not even your thoughts are your own now. You'll do what I want you to do, and you'll think what I want you to think. <laughs> this feeling of absolute control, it's intoxicating. I never knew it was possible to have this much control over one person. I love it. Uh, and I love you. The best part is I can tell you all of this, and you won't remember any of it later. Your mind is mine to toy with, to reset as many times as I like. Maybe even after the love confession succeeds, I'll do it over again just for the fun of it. To hear you say that you love me with such tenderness. Who wouldn't want to relive that heart-throbbing moment with the person of their dreams over and over? Hmm? You never thought I was this kind of person? No, of course you wouldn't. But you haven't actually known me for that long. So how would you know? What am I talking about? Well, you and I have only known each other for about one year. Those memories you have of us, being friends for nine years, of going to Ashford Elementary, I put those in your mind. That's right. You and I aren't childhood friends at all. I gave you those memories so I could insert myself into your life. So I could get close to you. How else was I supposed to get you to notice me? Someone like you would never talk to a lonely boy like me. It was my only option. Well, I see no reason to carry this on any further. Let's change those memories of yours. Good night, darling. You'll feel better in no time. Just a minor, Just a minor pain, pain will break, break you free from the most recent order you were given, but a major but a shock major will be shock required to wake yourself wake completely, up. completely up. What the? Did you just stab yourself with a pen? Very clever. You managed to defy your order to stay still by stabbing yourself. But now what you plan to do? Jeez, quiet down, won't you? You're yelling so loud. You're looking a bit confused. Understandably so. You're screaming at the top of your lungs. And yet no one in this cafeteria seems to be responding to you. <laughs> What's going on, you ask? Have you already forgotten what I told you earlier? I'm the one in control. Oh? Where did everybody go? My, my. How strange. Well, it's not that strange, actually. After all, it'd be pretty weird if students came into school on a Sunday. You didn't know? Today's a weekend. There's no students, no faculty, nothing. We've got the whole school to ourselves, and there's no one to hear you scream. Now, how about you stay still for me? I don't want you to run away again. Good. Let me get a look at you. Oh dear. There's blood spewing out of your leg from when you stabbed yourself. I'll have to plaster that up before resetting you. 
I suppose you'll end up being a little confused as to why you have a random injury. But maybe... Ah, yes. I've got an idea. From now on, when you look at your leg, you won't notice the wound, nor will you feel the pain. You look surprised. I already showed you that I can do this kind of thing. Not only can I get rid of pain, I can make you feel great joy. Really, you shouldn't be trying to resist. All the pleasures of the world could be yours. Your life with me could be one of paradise. Here, let me pour you some tea. Well, what are you waiting for? Have a taste. It's good, right? Well, what if I told you that it isn't real? And yet it's just like the real thing. The brain is powerful, isn't it? I had to practice for years to get this good at hypnosis. To the point I could manipulate a person's parietal lobe to this degree. But it's well worth it. As long as you've experienced the feeling before, I can make you experience it again. Your brain remembers the taste of every food you've ever eaten. Every sensation that's ever been felt against your skin. I could make you feel or experience anything you want. Tell me, would a life like that really be so bad? All you'd have to give me in return is your freedom and autonomy. You... want to be free? I suppose that's normal of all humans. But what's the price of freedom, huh? Huh? Why are you reaching for the teapot? What? Are you insane? You've got blisters all over your hands now. Hey, where are you walking? Stay still, that's an order. I said, stay still! <sighs> so that's what you did. You woke yourself up using the pain of the hot water. Yes, I suppose that's true. I can't give you orders anymore. <laughs> you escaped. You're going to call the police on me? Really now? You know I can't let you do that. I can't stop you? Are you sure about that? I told you before. And I meant it. I'm the one in control. Don't bother struggling. I tied you to that chair real good. You won't be breaking through that. Where are we? <laughs> this is my basement. Oh no, you've got it all wrong. I didn't bring you here. You've been here the whole time. The school and everything that happened there just now was an illusion. But it's a recreation of events that really did happen between us. Six years ago. <sighs> I do like to think back to that day. The day I first confessed my love to you at that school. When I used hypnosis on you for the first time. When you tried to escape from me by stabbing yourself in the leg. That's right. Six years ago. We've been out of high school for a long time now. Since then, we've done so much together. Some days I brainwash you into being a sweet and loving partner who adores me. Other days I allow you to remember everything and watch you squeal as you try to escape. But sometimes, I like to relive the day this whole thing started. It's so nostalgic to me. I'll never get tired of it. I'll never stop loving you. And whether you want to or not, you'll never stop loving me. Everything in that brain of yours is mine. And I couldn't be happier. Mm. God, is the ceiling leaking again? Water keeps dropping through every time it rains. I gotta fix that. 
In any case, I think it's time to reset you. For real this time. Your feisty side is fine. But I kinda wanna go back to the sweet and loving version of you. I've been missing our cuddling sessions. Alright. Listen to the sound of my voice. I'm gonna count down from three. And when I finish doing so, you're gonna fall into a deep trance where I take absolute control over your mind. Avoid resisting, relax, and remember that I love you. Three, two, one.